Welcome back to Memoriapolis. And, um, well, I'm not entirely sure where we were at at the end of the last episode, so hopefully you have a better track of that than I do. Now, there is one thing that I would like to mention that I have uh, notified the devs about. Uh, they seemed a bit confused about it, um, but so am I. When I have transitioned to Era 2, both in this game and also in a game that I have been running on the side, the caravans seem to get stuck at uh, being back in the number of cycles that is the distance to the, um, to the city that I'm trying to trade with. So this one will be perpetually saying that it will be back in 25 cycles and this one 50 cycles and if I unlock this it will perpetually say 25 cycles. 20 cycles and so forth, but it might be worth unlocking them just for the passive income because like this one generates seven gold coins of passive income per cycle, three per cycle, four per cycle, so at least that gives some gold coin income. Um, speaking of which, we can unlock that one right away. Um, yep. Now, at the uh, what I do remember is that we were uh, working pretty heavily on getting our food uh, production up. Um, I don't know what our current consumption is, but I do remember we were working on this farm down here. And, um, yeah, we are barely uh, making enough income for, for uh, what we need currently. And the third uh, event of the fall of Constantinople. The Ottomans have rid themselves of the foreign threat to their frontier are, and are on the road again to Constantinople with a new sultan, Mehmet II. His army is undoubtedly larger and more determined than that of his father. To all the spectators of this war, you seem to have an unwavering allegiance to the oppressed. Your messengers could inform Emperor Constantine that mercenaries such as Giovanni Giustinianini Giustinianini um, I don't know why that is so difficult. Giustiniani Giustiniani So Giovanni Giustiniani would be willing to help him. Sorry about that. But perhaps this new sultan could raise the stakes for our sympathy. So we can uh, pay mercenaries to uh, protect uh, Constantinople or we could negotiate with the Ottomans. I think we're going to stick to uh, paying the mercenaries even if they give us stuff. I don't know why not. Probably we should subtract stuff. But yep, we'll support Constantinople. What's our current build radius? So down there. We do have some build uh, possibilities over here. Uh, this one should be upgraded. We do have the stone for that. And we get the Sufis, a group of religious Muslims. Uh, this one keeps popping up after I load. Who seek an intimate connection with God through their meditation sessions. Led by Khalid, they fervently believe that spiritual experience is the most important in life and that it leads to divine love. Many poets and philosophers are among their ranks. It doesn't give me any building, but I'll accept them nonetheless. Another thing that I also want to do is to go into the factions and I want to stop taxing all of the factions. And this is because it gives me additional trust. Um, let me see how much money... Oh, I wish it told me how much money we actually gain. Because by detaxing all of the uh, factions, we're going to um, take a hit to our um, income, obviously. But it shouldn't be that much. Most of these are like 0 0.18, 0 0.36. I think we should be fine. This is the only way I've really found to increase the trust levels reliably of taxing them. Uh, this can be improved. Go in here and have a look. We have 
three level one cutting camps. One's level one. That one is level one. That one is level two. Let's have a look at the other ones. Okay, so that's that one. How about the middle one? Over there. Okay, so that's not worth upgrading. Uh, but I do want to have yet another cutting camp, so let's build one in the forest here. I don't remember if I made this a 10 field farm or not. But anyways, I do want to build a surveyor's hut somewhere down here. How far down? I can go all the way down here, actually. I preferably want to have the road go as close to the coast as possible. Yeah, that's a nice straight road. All of these uh, tensions, some of them also reduce the trust, as you can see here. These are really not trusting me. Where's all those of them? No, they the tensions reduce trust. So yeah, removing taxation. I haven't found another way to do that. We're also getting low on some of these satisfactions. It would be nice to get safety back up and running. So the dungeon provides... Uh, Satisfaction. So I guess we can build... The dungeon up here. Might as well affect both of the... Uh, quarters there. Um, the other one we need is a steam. So let's go for safety and the steam. Okay, so this one is done with 12 fields, so let's improve it to level 2. This one can be improved to level 2. The trade thing is a bit annoying though, because it means that we can't really... Um, ...get any... Um, Uh, additional money from trades, which, I mean, it is what it is, but I wish that we could get uh, more roads. Let's make a small mine up here. I need to pay attention to our workers, but that seems fine, currently. We'd also consider getting some of these buildings up. Uh, we also have a lot of blueprints, so we could get our farms. We almost already have level 3 farms unlocked, so that's good. This takes iron and bricks. Do not have gold leaves yet, so we can't really upgrade the uh, carpentry. But the mine, I believe we can upgrade, yeah. So we need to buy that one. As for service, what do we need to build there? We need to build a House of Grievance. So let's unlock the uh, House of Grievances, which is the new Senate, basically. Except that. And I also want to build that. Uh, what does it cost? A lot. So what's the political building up here? It's the Senate. Okay. Uh, service, House of Grievances. Uh, sneak that in here. Can have belonging and creativity. That should... Well, actually, I didn't need those at all. I needed a steam safety and health. Oh, well. Can't cancel it, and I did what I did, so... We have a lot of wanderers. Takes us to a thousand. If we want to improve it one more time, 
45 workers. We're down to 54. So we have four farms down here with 12 fields linked to the farm. Three of them are level three. The building is running out of resources. Let's uh, move it over to stone. And this one we just demolish. I guess that means we need more clay. Uh, let's have a look at the world when it comes to clay. Oh, there's a lot of clay down there, but that's a swamp. There's also a lot of clay up there, but that's also a swamp. And there's clay up there, which is also a swamp. No, that's not a swamp. Ooh, that is a good location for it, actually. Build. And chapter 2 rewards. Place pottery shop, stables, abbey, moustier, wheelwright workshop, and manor. Uh, I want to make sure that we have the small quarry level 2. Good. Having more gold income would also be pretty nice. Some random gold in the fields over here. Some gold up there and up there. This is the best location for it, as well as the other side of the lake here. That might not be a bad location. Let's just look at that one more time. Okay. So, proximity, surveyor's cabin. I'd like that to be very close to the water, like that. Some of these should be like this one, but it requires clay. Um, because I'd like to rebuild them. This one just requires rock. Oh, stone. Something is running out. Demolish. And this apparently is a founder's reward. I wasn't aware of that, so uh, thank you uh, again, 5PM Studios, for actually giving me the uh, founder's edition of the game. If you pre-ordered the game, you will have gotten this. If you're curious. Giovanni... <laughs> Giustiniani... Got it on the first attempt this time. Has answered your call, and above all, that of the rewards promised by Constantinople. He has assembled over 700 mercenaries and two ships to help the city resist Ottoman attacks. The Sultan responds with magnificent cannons. The final assault is underway, but the support Constantinople has had requested from the Pope and European cities is slow in arriving. You have two choices. Sabotage the Sultan's cannons and poisons his armies and betray the Byzantines. They'll never see death coming from behind. I'm going to sabotage the Ottomans. I'm curious if we actually can do it. There's a ruin. I'm just going to demolish that because we definitely don't need a ruin down there. Uh, production, small mine. So the ruins are basically always cultural buildings. Uh, I don't see why I would need a cultural building. Um, I don't know if we can fit more than two mines here. But yeah, cultural building down here. We're not going to have any population going down there anyways, so... Might actually be able to fit in three mines here. And if you're wondering why I want so much gold, it's not because gold is so valuable in terms of, oh, it makes money and so forth. But no, the, the reason I want so much gold is because there's a lot of buildings that require gold for upgrading. Uh, the Iron Spears faction. Our advisors have never heard of the Iron Spears. Thera, the young woman who represents them, describes them as ruthless, with an insatiable thirst for conquest. They are cunning and can break down the strongest defences. They don't really give us anything special, uh, except for the faction itself, uh, but I'm fine with that. Let's remove their attacks. 
Uh, I did get the option to upgrade these, but yeah, that's a lot of people I need for upgrading mine, so I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon. Okay, so we also need more quarries to get clay. Uh, we really need a substantial more amount of income of clay. I wish I could um, hold down shift like in, say, the crust and uh, build more of these. More quarry. There we go. Down to 30 workers. Uh, 12 fields. Can demolish it. it's done its job but I am going to leave that field there production small farm And of course the reason I'm leaving this field is so this thing doesn't... Actually, it might take that field now that I look at it. I didn't think that through, did I? That road is going to be annoying. Uh, now I think we can repair this. It takes 60 turns to repair, so it's a slow process. 6,000? That's not something we're going to be able to do at all. Yeah, more friction. And that one is done. So we need to unlock the Master Builder's office. Uh, that one is going to be uh, problematic to build. It requires 87 workers. We don't have that yet, so we'll just have to wait. Well, not for long. So the Master Builder's office... That's also a rather large building. Put it over there. So we need safety and health. What's that sound? There's a strange sound. Uh, hold on, please. Didn't seem to fix it, sadly. And we leveled up our cultural influence. Great. Okay, we can improve these. 15 workers for each of them. dungeon of the Moustia, uh, the House of Grievances. So let's open this. Uh, so there's different things now. Uh, oh, wow, that's interesting. It's political authority now. 
There's something going on over here as well. Defeat. Well done. How does this work? The political authorities all provide bonuses or malices to your town, depending on how much they trust you. The higher the trust, the greater the benefit provided. Uh, the benefits provided will accumulate and be important, and vice versa. To increase or decrease their trust, you can build buildings from their culture, pass decrees, or accept actions. Dot dot dot. Okay. So I was looking at this because we have so many wanderers. Uh, this one is what I was thinking about, uh, but it only only has a chance of success success of forty six percent, and I'm not allowed to uh, corrupt them anymore. Well, that is expensive. Self flagellation. Okay. Getting these past is going to be problematic. It would seem. Funnily enough, the um, I can't see how I can get any of these past. This also tells me what faction is opposed to who. Political is opposed to commercial. Commercial is opposed to religion. Religion is opposed to military. Military is opposed to production. Production is opposed to education. And education again then goes back to political and so forth. Um, if I want this to pass... The commercials, uh, the commercial, um, uh, action needs to have little power. Let's try to get invest some more into the religious faction. This is a religious cultural building, so when that finishes, maybe that will give us some more... Um, ...influence on that? I don't know. Could repair the scola. Okay, let's modify a district. Open panel. We can pick this district here and we can, for instance, change it to be a middle age district. So let's do that. And let's actually do that to the entire city. Let's change everything into the medieval style. Since we are, after all, now a medieval city. why I can't click that. It might be part of the mystery. You can also, like, say that this district should have more room for wanderers, for instance, um, and less room for people. You can also increase the number of people allowed in the district. But I'm just leaving those on default. And can also spend um, apparently religious. I guess it depends on what faction is the dominant faction. Not sure. Maybe it's what I picked as my um, 
No, it always seems to be religious. I'm not sure what uh, determines. I believe that's all of the city districts. And it looks like it. Now we need to unlock the library. Why is the game paused? Maybe, oh, I was still in the building. I was kind of hoping I would be able to merge the two cities together, but I need some more... Um, Traction in here to make them build districts there or a very small cultural building All of the uh, satisfactions are up to maximum again Ugh. Dusk falls on the battlefield. No one moves. No one shouts the last Ottoman is dead and Sultan Mehmed Mehmed the second is nowhere to be found. Oh, I actually won the soldiers are stunned Constantinople has once again repelled the invaders. But at what cost? Many lives have been sacrificed and resources expended to survive just one more day. Emperor Constantine IX graces you with his eternal gratitude. Regardless of past decisions, your city emerges stronger than ever. Constantinople is saved. So that's an alternate history. Can I get something passed in here now? No, it's even smaller. That one would be really nice to get past. But I need to increase their trust. Current... <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, let's go to that one. These two are the final ones that need to uh, finish off. Stone. We have one level one. Where is that one? Yeah, sure. The Bogomels want to join the city. They also don't give us any... Um, ...buildings for free, but it's another faction. 53 workers. Yeah. The farm actually took that one. Interesting. The placement of these diamonds are a little bit confusing. Because it doesn't necessarily correspond to where the uh, field is. Like this one looks like it's this field that's being demolished. Not that one. And... I think we could benefit from having one of each of the... Um... Basic production buildings. Do we have 40 workers? Yes, we do. Uh, so brickworks. Can I manage to fit one of those? Can. Fit it in there. Brickworks. Carpentry. I doubt I can fit that. Uh, so it's going to be a an empty spot there. That's fine though. Carpentry and then a carver. Must be outside of the dense forest. did manage to get it green, so determined. So that was a carver and then a tilery. Mm -hmm. 
So brickwork, carpentry, tilery, carver. Get even more income here. I do believe there's sand that was all the way down there. I don't think we're going to be able to get all the way down there. Oh, there could be sand on the beach here. Is there? There is. So we can get some more sand from the beach here. We have five small quarries doing sand, but they're basically almost empty. Where is the uh, level 1 quarry for play? Oh, well, I'm not going to upgrade that. But yeah, let's get the library built up. Um, I found a ruin. In a completely irrelevant position, so I'm just going to tear that down. And I'm also going to build another small farm down here to see if we can get rid of the um, forest. Service. I need to unlock the library, so let's do that. Accept. And then the library requires exactly what we have now. Okay, um, I just have to look at these. So the Abbey is religious, the Moustier is also religious. I have a lot of religious folks up here. The dungeon is not religious, I know it is not religions. Cultural, Moustier. The Moustier is education. Why does it say religious? Education, 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 and military, military, religious. And we leveled up again. Several cycles have passed, and you now have enough citizens and resources in your warehouses to improve your town center. This upgrade will give you access to a larger building area. I, I'd like to try to get the library in down here, and I think we can. These sand mines are going to go away, so I think, well, let's have it facing that way. We need health. And we need esteem and safety. I'm going to go for safety first. And it gives more city migration. These one are going to empty out soon enough anyways. And we can also improve the uh, city center. We'll increase the radius and the attraction. We have more than 5,000 people. Nice. This city is larger than the one I built on my own. One seems to have repaired on its own. No, it's the Mysterium, which is insane. I can upgrade or repair the Scola. No, I don't have enough sand for that right now. Or I could also repair the Atrium Veste. Yeah, let's repair that too. Get rid of some of these basic resources. Now getting more sand would also be uh, a nice little... Um... Oh, I'm not sure if I want... 
have these um, surveyor's cabins here. So there's some sand up here. A little bit, but not much. There's a lot on the beach up there. That's very close to the buildings. I'm not too happy about that. If we get down there, be nice, or even down here. I suspect we need a wonder for that, though. I think I'm gonna chance it. As long as I don't upgrade them. Not that much of a malice. Building running out of resources. Let's demolish it. The library is done, open panel, and now we have all the know-hows. So we can, for instance, enable... Okay. Know-how are obtained thanks to cultural buildings built from the Middle Ages and after. Each building has a specific bonus, which can be activated or deactivated using the library. So, For instance, black powder uh, depends on unimplemented game mechanics. Thank you for your patience. You're welcome. Cooking book. Food consumption per inhabitant cycle minus 10%. That's nice. Buttress and on unimplemented game mechanics. Well, we're going to implement the uh, the cooking book since we have a mission to. Okay. Ninety I'm guessing that's the next stage. We're going to implement that one. It takes three slots. I don't. We have ten slots. So activate. And now we'll have to choose between the Windsor Castle or the Notre Dame de Paris. And we also get access to the Oxford University for blueprints. Windsor Castle increases the size of all safety zones. Distant aunt boasted that she had the plans for an expensive fortress, including the beauty of Georgian art that would make any ruler jealous. Intrigued, your immediate family made inquiries on your behalf. Also, is indeed a veritable melting pot of grandiose architectural style. Uh, provides one additional choice for family interludes. That doesn't really make any sense, considering that this is the final age. So we'll go with the uh, Windsor Castle. It takes 500 turns. And 250 workers, mind you. Another faction. Plus five trust in political authority philosophers, so that's good. That this? Yes, it was. Dominicans. Are you going to allow me to pass some of this now? 51%? I'm going to try it. 150 turns, please. Refused, even though there's four factions in favors. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try one more time. Doesn't appear to take away money unless it's passed, so that's something. Refused. Okay. Evolve a cultural building. I don't know how to do that. Oh. Oh.
so the Esculapium and be evolved. Um, building a tree. But what can it be upgraded from? Well, that would have been a useful... Okay, let's go back here. Um, I can still... No, it's a building of an ameliorate. Esculapium. Esculapium plus Hostel Dieu. Hostel Dieu. Okay, let's buy that. Evolve. Evolve. Oh! That's nice. And that's retroactive as well. We need more esteem. Probably also should build a city wall. No, I don't want it to look like that, because that's going to make problems, so... Thirty-three, there is no difference. That looks good. You can also upgrade the city walls, by the way. Something is running out. Not really making that much sand. Let's improve this one. This also feels a bit... If oh, it's 15 workers. Let's improve it. I'm guessing there's no more sand left around here. Maybe a little bit? A little bit is definitely uh, pushing it. I build one in there and then upgrade it. Maybe we'll get some sand at least. Now we have a hospice in here. I think some of the names haven't been properly translated. Hostel Dieu compared to Hospice. Mustier. Um, might be... Some translations they forgot. The game is French, by the way, in case you didn't know. Let's just improve that right away. I also think I'm going to chance on it. It generates 500 disturbances, but let's upgrade one of those. Uh, is there room for another one of these small quarries? Uh, there's no sand there, though, so it doesn't really matter.
Okay, let's go back here and have a look. That gives us a better chance now, 53%. The religious faction is the one that... Uh, look at that. Sits at the Maison de Dolorance. Uh, Dole Doléances. Doléances? The Maison de Doléances, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, that's the House of Grievances. House of Indulgences, I believe it would translate to. Oh, it accepted them. Or they accepted it, probably better. That might help with our workers. I'm not sure how we are going to be able to get uh, 250 workers anytime soon. Huh. We do get two workers every cycle. We have 2,209 cycles to go. Let's see, I believe we can start demolishing some of these. Because of the, um... Uh, the new, uh, attrition zone. That one is just outside of it. How annoying. The Brotherhood of the Flagellants. Wilhelm and his followers, the Confrerie de Flagellant, seek redemption through public auto, or auto flagellation, as well as intense prayer. Their faith lies in physical pain and aims to purify souls and appease divine wrath due to the various intense epidemics that struck the Middle Ages. They'll offer me the cemetery. Uh, 146 workers, no. How are we doing on the, uh, oh, we're already bishopric. There we go again. Le cortil sont de petits corps, utilisés pour la culture de légumes, d'herbes ou de fleurs. Habitants pourront venir le jeter à pape. Something small. I'm not sure what cool. Oh, the small hearts. Using something culture of. I don't remember what legume legume is, but uh, herbs and flowers. And then I'm not sure what the last sentence there means. That's another decorative building. Decorative building. It has a zone around it. Let's build one there. It's a lot of workers, though. Generates 1,000 attraction, okay. That's not insignificant, actually. Let, let's upgrade these walls as well. I don't really want to do that because of these areas here. That doesn't even make sense. At all. Uh, okay. <laughs> well then. <laughs> I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, 
Oh, we need food. I'm not going to uh, bother with this. If we get any. More friction. Come on, finish up. Hurry. There we go. No, we're still losing. Oh, we're going to run out of food, but that's fine. Come on, finish up. That'll help. Okay, we actually need more food than that too. Uh. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to build a farm there. In this spot where I can't really build anything else anyways. Happened, happened very quickly. We still need more health and esteem. Cultural health buildings. But these give health. Does this cost to build? And this one? That's a lot of workers, though. I'm going to go with a glazed pottery workshop. Lucky, I might be able to fit this in here. It must not be on buildings. Nope, I cannot fit that in there. I don't want to have that nearby the... Um Military faction. Uh, so we need a steam. Uh, and probably better with creativity. Uh, that one is done. We also leveled up the city, so now we're a town. We have a public square. But I do need more food. I mean, might as well use the area here for food. I don't want the city to expand in this direction expand in this direction anyways, so why not?
could do a farm up here too, but uh, this area is fine. Of course, I did forget to increase the number of fields on both of these, I believe. So, yeah, that's a bit annoying. Uh, the co copyist monks. Well, then. The copyist monks are responsible for copying various religious, literary and scientific te texts by hand. Richard, their leader, places the preservation of knowledge above all other priorities. Their illumination techniques are extremely precise and meticulous, making their dedication to this task all the more respectable. Uh, so where did those guys end up? In this tiny little building there. So oh, cute. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have to build a farm up here whether I want to or not. Small farm. Let's get the number of fields correct. Another location for a small farm might actually be down here. Again, let's get the number of fields correct. We go. I hope I will be able to stop this in time. What I could do is actually I could go to the um, House of Grievances and see if I can uh, get this one would be nice to pass but there was one that produced, reduced the consumption of food. This one. Uh, let's pass that one. We are making food again. No idea how, but we are making food again. Ah. Decree accepted. The, 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 I don't know what's going on here. Two factions in favor, four against. How are they against? I think that might be... Um, switched around. Let's do the health satisfaction as well, because... This one would be the esteem faction, uh, or esteem satisfaction, actually. Ah, we have the goldsmith and the forge, which respectively produces uh, steel and gold leaves. The game wants us to uh, to build that wonder. Increasing, yeah, I think I'm going to try to increase some of these. Um, let's see if we can increase the health satisfaction for a few cycles, as well as the esteem. I doubt they're going to accept the one for esteem, but it's worth a try. Oh, they will actually accept it. I don't understand this at all. Uh, 
Apparently we need more wood camps. Another level up. That's going quickly this time. So we're increasing health and esteem. That's good. Probably could have some cutting camps up here as well. Starting to run low on um, stone availability. Could repair the Statio. That is a very bizarre field. <laughs> These are done. This one should also be improved. There should be some stone up there as well, so we might be able to uh, fit in a couple of small quarries. Uh, that's a very low amount of stone, to be honest. Whereas there is a lot of stone in here. If I can be able to fit one, doubt I can. Yeah, okay, so this farm, I'm going to remove that because it's just in the way. And we need more stone production. I'm going to focus on that rather than farms because we do have two farms that I'm going to upgrade down in the south. Yes, I know there is a new faction, but I just wanted to make sure this is demolished. Let's go have a look at that faction. It's the House of Wisdom. Little is known about about this medieval institution, the House of Wisdom served in its original city as an intellectual sharing quarter where scholars worked on the translation, preservation and transmission of ancient texts. Naur in particular contributed greatly, so Naur is probably the leader, but contributed greatly to the advancement of science and philosophy through his work. Yes. It's a very high level of trust at arrival. Let's accept those and remove their tax. This farm is done, so we can upgrade it. This farm is done as well, so we can upgrade this. Can we do the decree that increases safety, I wonder? Fifty-nine percent.
Gut. And on that note, I think it is time to wrap up this episode. So if you do have any questions and or comments, then please do feel free to leave those down in the comment section. And if, if you like the video, then please do uh, feel free to also click like on the video, obviously. And if you want to help out with the YouTube algorithm, then you can also just leave a little uh, emoji or something down in the comment section. I hope that you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you all in the next one.